got something done. Pretty nice. Feels pretty decent. I don't know what this is. It's a bass. All right, first fish of the day. Always putting up a fight, that's for sure. Spotted bass. About 13 inches. Nice. shining it ain't that bad I'm not even wearing gloves or a sock cut but I do have them with me All right, let's see if we can get another one they are biting slow today it's it's fair according to the almanac but uh, I've had a lot of short strikes today uh, where they just barely bump it once or twice on your retrieve they never stay latched on, so I'm slowing down and seeing if that helps. Yeah, I can't really stand where I want like this. I can't get down where I'm wanting to stand. Big bass. Man, that's a big spotted bass. My goodness. Nice bass here, folks. Yeah, he's a good two and a half pounds. Wow. All right. Nice one. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Nice late autumn spotted bass. He's about He's only about a pound and a half, actually. About almost 14 inches, maybe 13. At least 13, I mean. Nice and fat, though. Really girthy. All right. I'm about done fishing with lure. We're going to try a minnow and bobber. I was just hoping to get a big pickerel. Or... A walleye on accident would be nice. <coughs> <coughs> the water's about two feet high right now. So I'm not able to stand where I usually do. I usually walk all the way up to these old creosote soaked poles and get a lot closer to the water. I'm having to stay back far away from everything. And there's a wall below me and I usually fish off that wall and I can't. So it's kind of hard to get my lure down to where I'm wanting it at. I'll have a little better luck probably with minnows. Oh, she caught a crappie. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a crappie. Good job. Hold on, I'll zoom in on you. Man. Hold on a minute. She finally caught her first fish. Really? Was it by the stick? When you get get them off the hook, hold them up for her. All right. So so far, I caught two spotted bass, and she caught a black crappie. Not bad. Hold that pose for about 20 seconds. Just barely a keeper, but it's something. Made it worth coming. Yeah. Uh-huh. I guess I need to come over there and try. Because I didn't really try over here. That's a white crappie. No, the ice. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's a, that's a white crappie, not a black. Almost looks like a hybrid crappie, but I doubt it. Looks weird. 
I knew it would get something. So I'm putting a bobber back on then. I was just going to try to catch bass on the bottom, but really. I never even tried over here with a lure. Well, there's one, there's more. Where exactly did you get it? Yeah. Right by the pole? Mm -hmm. It's not bad. No, that's a black crappie. It's black. Yeah, it's a black. Tell by the fins. Uh, one way to tell black is they, their fins are exactly the same size on top and bottom. They match. The whites will be unmatched. You did it like a little kid would do. Eight chances. Eight. That's, let's go for nine. There you go. My gosh, was that that hard? She finally, that, folks, she had nine chances at this crappie and finally got it. She's not setting the hook proper. I'm trying to teach her. She's done it right before. About a seven inch black. Now that is a black. Yeah. Seven inches. Well, you need to change your manners to smoke. Maybe that's my problem. They ain't hitting a lure at all. They touched it one time. God, you're waiting way too long still, Wilma. Way, way, way too long. Now that's a better one. You're waiting till the bobber goes three feet under to set the hook. Why you still ain't listening? You got lucky that time. All right, it's crappie number three for her and zero for me. I caught the one bass. For some reason they like her minnows and not mine. I'm doing the exact same thing she is and not getting jack. Makes no sense. All right, I finally got my first one, a little bitty six-incher, but finally, after a lot of frustration, I got a crappie. She caught three, and I finally got one. They're smaller ones today, but hey, to start, I do catch them up to 13 inches out of the river, so it's the possibilities there. It is there.
Guess we might as well stay here, huh? They keep barely messing with it, not taking it. There, I got him. All right, a little better. He's eight inches. I know exactly what to do now. You gotta cast it that way and it just float. Let it just float along. It'll, it'll move on its own and cover a lot of ground. And something will eventually see it. Because it goes in an eddy right here. You don't have to cast over and over. Just once every 45 seconds. A little better than my last one, but still not what I'm looking for. I would like a 10 or 11 at least. Just a little 8 incher. Might only actually be 7. I'm going to try to use the same minnow again and see. You never know. Come on, take it, take it. Bluegill. That's a sunfish. Huh, something different. Sure bit like a crappie had like the crappie had been. He's a decent sized one. Alright folks, I caught a long ear sunfish on a minnow this time, so we got bass, crappie, and sunfish. Pretty little guy. Not very orange right now, but still cool, something different. in still got the minnow There we go. Slab. Finally, a white crappie. Yes. And a nice one at that, folks. This one, finally, I got me a 12. Or he's, he's 11. And it's my first white of the day. Which I prefer over blacks, believe it or not. A lot of people don't. But I like white crappie. Yeah, we finally got a nice one. All right. Not bad. Kind of plain looking. No design today. The vertical bars are barely visible. Alright. That's the kids that were down here fishing earlier. And I don't think they caught anything now. They see me holding a fish. Probably want to come back. It's a nice white crappie. Probably made my day worth coming anyway all right let's see if i can get another one not bad i 
get him back in the water. What we came after. The bass. Not bad. <laughs> Millie don't know what to think. Alright, folks, I got my second spot. Spotted bass of the day. I knew it wasn't a crappie as soon as I set that hook. They fight way harder. Not too terrible. 10, 11 inch. All right, I'm gonna get him back in. I'm trying to get me a slab. Unfortunately, I think he destroyed my minnow, yep. It ain't alive anymore. Had zero eyes. Folks, I decided to try a minnow on the bottom just to try to get some other kind of species such as a sauger, white bass, uh, whatever. And I ended up getting a freshwater drum. He's about an 11 inch or a pretty small guy, but still it's something different. Yeah, you want it? You want it? And uh, finally paid off. So I'm going to... Throw another one out right there and see if I can get another one. The, the fish just quit, totally quit biting the uh, minnows and bobber. And I tried lures for a while, that wouldn't work. Nothing seems to be working. So I tried on the bottom with a split shot and it paid off. It didn't take very long either, about 30 seconds. There's a big slab of concrete out in the water with a pole sticking up and they hang out around that slab of concrete it drops off right as it gets to out to that part and uh, they're sitting right on the edge of that concrete right there and it's about eight foot deep and it, it well it drops from about three to eight just like that so they're all on that drop right there right around that concrete slab So see, you know, getting in I got a bite, got a bite already. Yep, got another one. Big drum. Yep, they're all in that concrete right there. Same size. <laughs> Hey, it's something different, I guess. We ended up catching a lot of kinds, actually. Spotted bass, the sunfish, black crappie, white crappie, and drum. I reeled in a buffalo scale on a crankbait, and I had a sauger bite my jig out in the middle of the river, but it just bit it once. It just tapped it. Man, let's see if I can do that again. That takes, it took 10 seconds both times. Right there. Almost as soon as it hits the bottom. They, um, they got to be spooked by now, though. But you never know. They're actually biting good. 